So that's Clayton Lyle from the Melbourne Man. And a frosty start to winter. Snow has fallen as far north as the Queensland-New South Wales border. Those beautiful pictures, more of them, coming up in the news next. Welcome back. Returning to our tragic story out of Melbourne this morning where a man has died in the city's north after accidentally stepping into the path of a truck on the busy Western Ring Road. For more, we're joined by today's Melbourne reporter, Christina Hearn, who's at the scene in Glenroy. Chris, this is such a tragic situation. What more can you tell us? Actually, this, was, this started out as a night out with friends, but it has ended in tragedy. What we know is that a group of friends were in a car. They were returning from a farewell party for another friend who was going back to India when a 34-year-old married St Albans man sitting in the back passenger seat asked the driver to pull over on the busy Western Ring Road because he was feeling sick. The driver pulled into the emergency lane. That is when the victim has stepped out and tragically into the path of an oncoming truck. Police say that that truck was travelling at around 80 to 90 kilometres per hour. The victim has sustained massive head injuries. His friends and the truck driver desperately tried to save him at the scene, but he has died later in hospital. The 31-year-old driver of that car has then returned a positive breath test. He was almost, he was more than three times the legal limit. Let's have a listen to what police have had to say. There's been a uh, bit of alcohol consumed and uh, it appears the fellow that's been hit by the truck tonight has been uh, indulging, so to speak, as a passenger. Obviously no issues with drink driving. However, it seems that, that uh, he may have needed to, to stop for an uh, emergency pit break, so to speak. Uh, has opened the car door, has maybe lost uh, uh, his uh, presence of where he was. The 54-year-old truck driver from Sunbury returned a negative test for any alcohol or drugs and was allowed to leave the scene. Ashlyn. All right, Christina Hearn in Melbourne, thank you. Meanwhile, bystanders have rushed to help a critically injured teenager after he was hit by a truck in Sydney's southwest. They administered CPR to the 14-year-old while waiting for emergency services to arrive. The truck driver also stopped to offer assistance. The boy was then rushed to Westmead Children's Hospital for treatment. So teenagers are being questioned over suspicious fires overnight around Goulburn and the New South Wales Southern Tablelands. The Centrelink offices in the centre of town were significantly damaged in one of the large blazes. Upon arrival, they found a two-storey building, the top floor, totally involved in fire. They immediately have asked for assistance and we currently have... Hopefully someone done like Centrelink. ...firefighters on the scene here. A short time later, firefighters were called to a second blaze at a vacant building 200 metres away. Two boys aged 17 and 19 have been arrested. A man has been flown to hospital after a head-on collision between a grain truck and a car in Perth's northeast overnight. The crash happened in Upper Swan. It's believed the Nissan was travelling on the wrong side of the road at the time. The driver of the car was seriously injured and remains in hospital. The truck driver sustained minor injuries. A luxury beachfront home in Adelaide, owned by a man investigated over the cruise ship death of Diane Brimble, has been attacked for the second time in three days. Luigi Vitale's property at Henley Beach was Luigi. when a small bomb exploded out the front. On Saturday, a fire was lit at the back of the property. I heard a loud bang. Uh, early hours of the morning, that's what I heard. It sounded like, sound like a car backfiring. I get up on the window and I look and I saw cars over here. Vitaly was one of eight men investigated over the 2002 drug-related death of mother of three, Diane Brimble. But That's it, being a bit of a history up. Three men have been stabbed during a violent brawl outside a hotel in Sydney's CBD. Police were called to the scene at Haymarket at around 1.30 this morning to find two of the men injured on the footpath. One of the men suffered non-life-threatening wounds to his neck, while another was treated for deep cuts to his arm and back. The Victorian government is getting tough on serious criminals with plans to crack down on community corrections orders. Offenders who have been found guilty of 10 serious offences will now be ineligible for the orders, which allow criminals to serve their sentences in the community. Malcolm Turnbull says his party would be staring down the barrel of a humiliating defeat in Saturday's election. 
Had he not ousted Tony Abbott last September? Take a listen. I think if, if there had not been a change of leadership, then we would have lost the election uh, very resoundingly. Well, you said you think you're going to win it. Reveal the costings on its <laughs> How arrogant these people are. Oh, Bill Shorten will pitch his message to voters at a National Press Club address in Canberra. Well, the Queensland New South Wales border area has turned white after another cold night along the east coast. The rare snowfall has seen a small crowd gather at the top of Mount Mackenzie to enjoy the special treat. Beautiful. I haven't seen snow since I was about three, so it's, it's lovely. It's very cool. I mean, I love it because when you're from the Gold Coast where it's very hot and sunny, it's nice to see something different. And uh, it's good to get some snow and throw it at someone. <laughs> Oh, such a novelty for Queenslanders. The fun will be short-lived, though, with the sun now well and truly up, and that snow is already starting to melt away. Well, following a busy month of birthday celebrations, the Queen is showing no sign of slowing down as she arrives in Northern Ireland this morning for the start of a two-day visit. Her Majesty was accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh for a number of official duties at Hillsborough Castle. Her first official engagement. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, we've got Todd, Debbie, Shandell and Luke. They're all fast out of the blocks today at Aldi up here in Mollendina. In fact, nothing could be finer than, than Mollendina in the morning, particularly for these four who'll be walking away with trolleys full of free groceries. Who'll take away the extra $1,000 in cash? We'll find out after we have a look at the weather right around the country this morning. Good morning to you, Queensland. This is where we're starting in Maroon Territory. 25 for Cairns, Sunshine and 23 for Townsville. Blue skies and 18 for Sunshine Coast and Brisbane. And on the Gold Coast today, 19 degrees and sunshine. Sydney cloud will start to clear to a top of 18 degrees. Canberra some morning frost and fog and 12 degrees. 15 for Melbourne, a mostly dry day on the way. And a shower or two for Hobart, 14. Adelaide cloudy and 16 today. Over in the west, Perth will see showers and possible storms and 19 degrees. Mostly sunny for the Alice, 18 degrees. And Darwin's sunny and 34 degrees. Okay, let's start off with...